Aquarius, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be general, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. He is over at 7D Tarot. His information is also going to be down in the description box below for you. Let's dive right in. We have the Death card in reverse and the Five of Wands coming out as your overall energy. So understand that right now there is some internal changes that are happening, Aquarius. And it's not the time to um, be around those that are invoking any form of um, discomfort within yourself. Like if you're around particular people, um, work environments, say, uh, friends, family that uh, seem to be off the path that you are currently on, recognize this as a time to dis. dis um, take some space for yourself. It doesn't mean that, you know, you have to, for instance, like in a work environment, it's not like you can just quit work. However, you do want to be aware of not engaging with those particular individuals. If, if they're complaining or bringing on some kind of, um, you know, if they're invoking any type of comparison within yourself, right? Where you feel the need to compare your life to theirs, or you feel that you want to create, but you find yourself comparing yourself, you know, to someone else, understand that that comparison game is just an, uh, um, a, uh, a reasoning or a belief or a fear in there uh, from your smaller self's perspective or your, your experiences in this lifetime, okay? So not, your lifetimes as a whole, not all of your wisdom, but just this lifetime. So this is one of the lessons that needs to be overcome in order to get you to the next step of this game that we're all playing. And I do see here with the nine of swords and the moon card coming out that there is a fear program that is keeping you from truly evolving. So perhaps even something that you, I almost feel like perhaps you may even be fearful of evolving or advancing um, due to some type of programming that maybe was instilled like you're, you know, not going to be good enough or you have doubts in yourself, but something is holding you back from really taking your life to the next level. And it has everything to do with something that was said in your past. Okay. Generally, it's from an upbringing, like a early childhood um, stages, because that's where we're the most sensitive. And that's when we really absorb everything like a sponge. So anything that anytime is ever said that that hurts us, we hold on to that. Okay. And something is here that's definitely um, that definitely needs to be looked at. And, and here's the here's the thing is that Beautiful. So um, you have a, a, a financially very successful new beginning waiting for you. Okay. Um, so uh, a new opportunity is going to arise. This is going to be an inspiration. So you're going to get an inspiration. Uh, it's going to feel really good to you. It's going to feel really abundant to you. You're going to feel like, oh, that feels good. This is part of my life's purpose. I just know it. You're going to have that feeling. And it is going to be exactly that. Um, so the good news is, is that right now, as you are aware of perf the transitions that are happening about, you know, okay, well, I would really like my life to go a certain way. Um, I'm feeling like I just need to, you know, I, I feel like I want to go here, but I'm hesitant, right? The more awareness you have around your life right now and this fear that may be holding you back from evolving, that's okay. As long as you have the awareness, that's the start, right? It's when we don't have the awareness that things can get a little bit sticky because, and we don't even know what to do. So the awareness behind it is step number one. Now, step number two is making sure that you are really, really taking notice of if you are in a anxious, uh, trying to control the future mode or a fear-based program from the past mode, right? Right now I do sense that there is, and, and I can see that there are programs from the past that are holding you back from really creating the life you want. Again, almost holding you back from really living your truth, Aquarius, like really being your authentic self. You got to let this ish go. You know what I mean? You're, you, you are, is going to move mountains. Who your spirit and who you really are is incredible. And when this particular energy gets cleared, 
holy moly, watch out world. You know what I'm saying? So just know that there is going to be a new opportunity that's going to present itself. This will help you remove your, your past um, programs because you know how we remove past fears is by uh, trying new things because the more we try new things, the more we discover more things about ourselves and the more we stop holding on so dearly to these beliefs we had and we realize, oh, pff, I don't want to worry about that. That's boring, right? That doesn't feel good. I got this new stuff going on. I feel really good about myself. I'm doing new things. I'm trying new things, right? We're, we're, we're rocking it. So just know that this is all going to um, come to fruition. And at this time, just learn as much as you can. You know, whenever something comes to your download, whenever something comes to your mind um, and, and your, and your heart and your spirit, dive into it, learn a little bit about it. You know what I mean? Don't hesitate to learn new things. Now is the time to learn new things because it will wipe away some of these programs from the past, which are creating um, blockages um, in the form of you receiving everything that you want. But the good news is, universe made me look down here, 10 of pentacles, caught that out of the peripheral view. Speaking of peripheral, that's exactly how we want to view energy, Aquarius, right? We don't want to be too focused on something. We don't want to identify with something, right? Is this going to make me money? Is this going to find me love? Is this person my soulmate right when we're focused on something we are not peripheral in whatsoever we're so focused on it we're waiting for it right we're waiting for this right like a cheetah hunting a gazelle we're just waiting for this thing to move right we don't want to do that because then we're going to create we're going to make a decision from like a control base right we want to be living our lives very fluidly very effortless very peacefully right we don't have connections identifications to things we're living from the wisp from from the poles of our heart we're living from our intuitive downloads we're, we're living from honoring our spirit in the moment that's it when we honor our spirit in the moment we don't want to look outwards what's this what's that identification here maybe this here none of that tune inwards what's your heart saying what is your spirit saying what are you called to do in that moment what would honor your needs what would truly honor your needs in this moment that will always keep you present and that will always keep you in alignment of your purpose and your path and that's what's necessary right now because you got such a good one you've got such a good one my goodness Aquarius holy moly so right now know that the best way that you can live your best life is by living from your truth okay what what you want for your life and so often we have these these beliefs and these fears that are created Created because of experiences we've faced, right? So, but being younger and, and not familiar with what's really going on, we hold on to it. And then as we get into our adult years, we recognize, okay, so now I recognize I've just held on to this because it was an emotionally charged emo energy that I was feeling. And as an empath, I feel things really dearly. So, okay, now I know. So I'm not going to be hard on myself. I'm just going to recognize that this is something from the past. And I, I choose not to let this interfere with my today. So I'm going to honor my heart's, my heart's whispers of today. I'm not going to take on more than I need to. I'm just going to live my life by what my heart says, right? If it doesn't feel good to me, I'm not going to do it. And I know it's going to lead me and I trust it's going to lead me to what comes next, right? And in that moment of honoring your spirit's needs, you're at the same time simultaneously going to be clearing away that residual energy from the past because you're going to be able to have the awareness of it because you're not focused on it. You see how that goes, right? When we're focused on something, we can't see clearly, right? And so that's why when we're ever focused on making money as opposed to finding our life's passion, there's a disconnection, right? Because money is just an energy. And if you're focused on making money at the same time, you're also saying, I don't have money. So you're creating a scarcity energy around it. So you really just want to say, okay, so how can I live my most joyous, passionate life? What would be fun for me? Like, how do I want to live this life? Like, this is my life. What the heck am I doing? I'm trying to live my life from what someone else wants. What would be fun for me? What would I want to do? Close your eyes, start to dream this, start to envision this daydream. Hmm, what feels good to you, right? Get really familiar because there are some big things that are going to be changing some really fun things that are happening for you and how what you would find fun and easy and good is exactly what the universe is aligning anyway so you'll be able to feel that that's what's coming so you can get excited even more excited about it by honoring your needs and by visualizing this outcome because here we have scared beetle spirit which is all about having the magic work through you due to the creativity that you'll be feeling from being and living from an inspired place instead of a fear-based place you want to live from an inspired place and the only way reason we're living from a fear-based place is because we are trying to do something that we have no grounds or no business Business doing right we're trying to control the future we may have received a little bit of a download but we're trying to control it we don't want to control we want to just be guided right and that's what wolf spirit is here to remind you is that you are an extremely extremely old soul Aquarius with a lot of deep wisdom and your wisdom comes to light when you honor your needs in the moment because it enhances your psychic gifts and your uh, ability to use your intuitive powers 
much more profoundly, much more profoundly. When our minds and our focus is on the past or the future, we, we, we disconnect from the, our powers. And that's why Wolf Spirit's here to remind you, you will be able to take all of your life's experience, everything you've learned, everything you've gone through, and it will be able to be applied in this time and space, but only if you're honoring the needs of this time and space, not thinking about it. Well, how can I do this? Well, how can I do that? Well, would this happen here? How can I apply it here? None of that. Let all of that go. That's just collecting a lot of psychic buildup in your energy center. And right now, just want to let all that go what's your heart telling you follow that inspiration you're being guided towards this new beginning which is going to help alleviate a lot of this um the, the the pain that you've been experiencing from attaching to the beliefs from the past and the experiences from the past all you got to remember is that we feel our best when we are creating a life that we desire and we do not create a life we desire when our focus and our awareness is on past traumas or experiences so keep moving forward with your journey follow the fun at all times honor your needs in every moment and know that you will be this will lead you to an aligned purpose and aligned life path for yourself all right aquarius i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope there was a message in here for you and if there was like share and subscribe i truly appreciate you spirit loves you i love you and until our next reading keep shining baby